We're here with Mississippi College head coach John Bland as we get set for tonight's big rivalry game with the Delta State Statesman. Coach, first of all, let's take a look back at the Florida Tech game last okay. week. I thought the defense played great, especially in the first half, held right up until the end of the third quarter. The Panthers had two long pass plays, kind of the tipping point, I think, in that football game, and kind of turned the momentum in their favor. Yeah, it did. You know what? Our defense was playing really good. That was a powerful offense, really good, uh, strong in the running game, and their quarterback did a great job in what they call RPOs. That's run pass option, which means he's – uh, reading one of our defenders and a linebacker. If he sits, if he gets outside that box and goes to help with the pass and he hands the ball off. If he stays in there close and he pulls it and throws it. A lot of that was uh, very difficult to defend and our guys did a great job of that. You know the long pass, the one that, that we're talking about right there, uh, I thought they did something illegal. They did pick our guy who was still in good coverage but they came and the receiver pushed him uh, and kept him from covering really well. So you know, give our guys a little bit of credit. They probably would not have happened if I don't think that would have been, I felt like it was an illegal pick, uh, which the official didn't see it. And so that's all that matters. But, uh, you know, we, I don't think we let him go. Uh, so it would have been a, even a bigger difference for us in a, in a positive way. You know, those kind of moments happen in ball games all the time. What, what do you as a coaching staff, what do you expect from your team leaders to kind of make sure that those moments don't turn into, well, the ball's kind of rolling downhill now? away from us. Well, you know what, when, the, when you have a, a call like that that is missed and the, that's frustrating uh, because you'd like it to be, you know, of course, you know, you like it, that's what the officials are there for. Uh, but when it does happen, we just need to keep, keep our uh, momentum going and keep that, uh, you know, our morale up. Our players just kind of continue to play hard and tackle well. And I think uh, we lost a little bit of that as the game went on. Our offense was not uh, putting any points on the board and having a hard time. We made some first downs, but we didn't execute very efficiently and uh, had a little bit to do with uh, not just one position but several not all at the same time just kind of took turns uh, some of that had to do with Florida Tech being really good uh, but uh, a, lot, a lot of it had to do with us as well so that's things we've worked on continue to work on get better at each week I think this week we had a, a really good week of practice so I'm excited to see us perform on Saturday. Well, you know, in talking with some of the folks on the sideline during the game, they said, hey, the Choctaws have remained upbeat throughout that ball game. And that's something yeah. we've seen. It's half a year left, and there's still a lot of, lot of room for improvement on this team and some, some victories possibly ahead. No doubt. And this is a big one coming up, you know, with uh, Delta State. And I know we're going to talk about that, but that's, a, that's exactly right. We have six games left, and we're excited about it. Uh, obviously, that uh, we'd love to be 4-0 right now, but we're not. And there's nothing we can do about that, so we just got to move forward. Uh, one of the things the Choctaws have struggled with, unfortunately, is converting on third downs and getting that extra first down to keep the drive alive. But it's uh, not just about third downs. It's putting yourself in a position to make those third down pickups yeah. when, they, when they come up. It is. And uh, that, that you can see if you, you come over and watch film with me and evaluate it, you'll see that those third downs and those moving the chains opportunities are there for us. Uh, you know, we're not outmatched. We're not getting pushed around. We're, we're just not executing properly. Uh, you know, we're in a tough league, there's no doubt, but we can uh, get this done. And our players know that. That's why I think they're still a beat. They want to they wanna perform that their best football. And I think it's ahead of us. Well, you got Delta State that's ahead of you tonight, and Chris Robinson's off to a great start. Slowing him down is going to be tough. But the, again, the Choctaw defense, especially against, uh, say, Southwest Baptist in the first half against Florida Tech, that, that, the, those front guys in the box did a really good job of playing run defense. No doubt about it. Uh, we've, had, we've been doing well. So this will be a challenge to, uh, for sure. With Chris Robinson is uh, the best running back, supposedly the best, as good as anybody in the, in the league as far as running the ball. They've got some others, too, that can run. Their quarterback does a really good job, too, of, of getting the ball outside and throwing those screens. And, and uh, so it's hard to rush him. It's hard to get in there and put pressure on him because he does uh, get rid of the ball so quick. But he also has uh, some weapons inside in the running game, too. So it'll be very difficult for our defense. One of the things that hopefully will help us is back to our offense, making first downs, keeping the ball away from them so that they feel like they need to score fast uh, and put more pressure on their offense when they're out there. So I think it's a, a team effort that's going to get it done. You talk about the Choctaw offense that's put up some points against Delta State up in Cleveland last year for sure. Uh, they made some changes defensively in their coaching staff, and uh, they've got a pretty stout run defense this year. But with three, four possibly really good options at running back, Choctaws have a chance to run with these guys. We do, and we're going to have to. I think we need to be able to run the football and, and be able to convert on third downs, whether it's running the ball or passing. 
uh, throwing and catching, blocking, running, all those things we're talking about are so important. And uh, I feel like we've improved this week. We had probably our best practice we've had all year long on Wednesday, and uh, hopefully it'll carry over to Saturday. You've been able to get Aaron Fiesel, the young quarterback, some playing time, Kyron Williams a little bit too. What have yeah. you seen specifically from Fiesel that, uh, that he can add when he comes into the football game? Well, I, I feel like he's got confidence. He, is, uh, he wants to learn every day, just about every day he comes out there. Uh, when we see a defense, when I mention something, his, his, he's very uh, focused on what I'm saying, and he applies it when we, when we go out there on the field. Now, he's a strong kid. He's a, he's a strong runner. And he's a good passer, so he's not perfect. Uh, not, not, none of us are, but he's not perfect uh, quarterback, but he's getting better and better every day, and I feel, him, I feel that he's gaining that confidence each and every time. So the experience in the game is helping him just as much as practice. Hey, this Delta State rivalry goes back a long time, and uh, yeah. love, be love, love to get a Choctaw win in this ball game. but you know that a lot of people are going to be around, and they're going to be excited for this good atmosphere we'll have Saturday night. It will. I think... Uh, Hopefully this is the way. You've heard this before. It's a cliche. Throw the records out the window because if we did, if we didn't throw them out, that would be confidence in their, in their favor because they're 4-0 and and we're 0 4 But we, uh, I think we are going to throw those records out the window and uh, our guys are ready to compete for several reasons, not just, not just because we're getting better, but we are. We're, we're improving so much each and every, every week. So hopefully that improvement continues on through Saturday and we see that on the field, but also the rivalry will lift us up even a little bit more. And uh, maybe, maybe Delta State might be a little bit overconfident. So I hope that all goes in our favor and we uh, get us a victory on Saturday. Coach, we appreciate your time as always. Good luck in the game. Thank you.